I thought I'd go ahead and do a video for those of you who have asked more specific questions about which equipment I use for odor removal. So I'm going to show you exactly what I use, which brand I use, and what things you may want to look out for if you're interested in getting some type of ozone equipment. The first thing you're going to need is a fan and I'll show you why. Most ozone machines are some type of box shape. There are some other styles that may blow the ozone up but for the most part you're going to have something similar to this style in most machines. This is actually the front of the machine where the ozone comes out. So in this example right here most people are going to sit this machine on a counter maybe a shelf or on the floor but the problem is that ozone is heavier than air so ozone as it comes out of the machine it's going to tend to fall down and what you want to do is be able to get the ozone high so that it can work its way down and do its job to move that ozone all you really need is a simple box fan the box fan that you can get at Walmart for under $20, I find to work the best. I've tried using air movers, the same ones that I use to dry carpet, and I don't find that they work as well as just a box fan. And the advantage is that the box fan, it really, it has a wider path that it distributes the ozone, whereas an air mover, it's a more narrow focused path. So you end up with better ozone distribution by using a box fan. So for your fan, you don't need anything special or anything like that. Just a box fan will do fine. For my average jobs, these are the two different types of machine that I use. Now first, this machine right here is a machine made by Max Blaster USA. I consider them the Cadillac of, of ozone generators. They put out a ton of ozone. They're very reliable. They're built, I'm sure, better than any other ozone generator that I've ever seen. Now in full disclosure I have no affiliation with Max Blaster other than the fact that I was a customer. They don't pay me to say any of this stuff. They didn't ask me to. They're not giving me any free products or anything like that. I'm just telling you my experience with their machines and it has been great. And I'll tell you one thing I actually had I don't know which machine it was it fell out of an attic. Um, it was a particular job that I was doing and not only did I have to do the whole home, there was an odor in the attic. And it slipped and it basically hit the ladder and then fell and hit a hardwood floor. And the only result of that was inside the back of the machine where the fan is. A corner broke off the fan, which didn't affect its function at all. A wire did come loose out of one of the wire nuts. But all I did was reattach it and it's still working to this day. So they built a really good durable machine that puts out a lot of ozone. These particular machines are rated at 10,000, no, I'm sorry, 15,000 milligrams per hour. And like I said, they've been phenomenal. And when I do need more equipment, I'm going to go with this brand. And I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. These are machines that I built myself. As you can see, they're kind of the same style of machine. And I didn't do that so much to knock off the Max Blasters, I did it just because I kind of wanted my equipment to have a uniform look. Now, although these machines look very similar, they're really night and day difference. And the heart of an ozone generator are the internals, like your plates and your transformers. And that's where you really get a big, big difference in the output and the durability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the fronts off these machines so you can see the differences. Okay, here's the machine that I built. As you can see, it's the same basic case. It's a little bit smaller unit because I didn't need as much room to build this. But what you're looking at right here, if you're not familiar with ozone generators, these are your plates. And you can see there's two of them. And this is your transformer. And that's what creates ozone. Your transformer boosts up the power and it supplies that power to these plates. And I know it's really hard to see, but there's a blue honeycomb surface on the plates and that's what creates the ozone. Now other than the Max Blasters I'm not aware of any other decent ozone generators that use anything other than these transformers and plates. 
And one thing to know is that these transformers and plates are all made in China. They're not made anywhere in the United States. So you're not necessarily going to get as a reliable um, component with these type of plates and transformers. And they're pretty notorious for going out. And I also highly suspect that their numbers are, are rated higher than what their actual output is. I don't have an ozone meter to see how much output that they have, but just from using them over the past couple years, um, I don't believe the output is what they say they are. And this is a smaller machine. This is rated for 10,000 milligrams. Each one of those plates are 5,000 milligrams each, or at least that's what they're rated. But when I compare this machine's output with the Max Blaster output, I can just tell it's not even close and I have to run these machines for longer periods of time. And honestly, the reason that I made these smaller machines to begin with was for smaller areas like bedrooms and things like that. But when I have something like a smoked-in living room where the living room and the kitchen are kind of open, I have to run several of these where I only need to run one Max Blaster. So just be aware that these components are not high quality components that are made in the USA or anything like that. So here's the Max Blaster and as you can see there's a lot of stainless steel mesh in here and that's where the ozone is created. As a matter of fact let me pull this out and I'll show you just how much more surface area there is. You can see all those I guess they'd be called windings and that's where where these machines make their ozone so there's a lot of it in here and in addition to that let me see if I can get it in there you see that big black box that's the transformer and I believe these are made in the USA so they are a much more powerful substantial transformer that I believe they have like a five-year warranty that's how good they are so this setup here is going to create a whole lot more ozone and it's going to create it more reliably than using the cheaper components now you can buy ozone generators off of eBay or Amazon for in the 80 to 120 dollar range there's quite a few of them up there but you just need to know that those machines are never going to produce the type of ozone that, well, not even this type of ozone normally, but for sure not that the Max Blasters produce. Uh, they mostly use a plate with, they use a little bit of this mesh, just a little bit, and they're always overrated. So you're not going to get a true, true ozone saturation when you use those. They may work for something small like an automobile but the big drawback to ozone and it's not really a drawback but it's that you have to overcome the depletion rate because ozone depletes very very rapidly they're the reasons why I use the machines that I use am I saying that these type of plates and transformers are bad no I'm not I'm just saying that as far as long-term durability and ozone output I prefer the Max Blasters and they've never let me down. Now to tell you the truth I have not had a lot of problem with the Chinese plates and transformers but I can tell you that I bought a whole batch uh, I think it was uh, either five or six Chinese transformers and plates and only two out of the six actually worked and it worked out because the company refunded my money and they told me just keep the product don't bother sending it back so at least I can salvage the plates off of there whenever I need to. The whole point of that is really just to let you know that the Chinese components can be kind of sketchy. So again, the Max Blaster is my preferred piece of equipment. They're going to cost a little bit more than your cheap eBay or Amazon ozone generator, but they're going to work better. I prefer ozone over chlorine dioxide because it's a little more powerful and it's served me very well. So if you're looking to get an ozone machine for personal use or to start an odor removal business or even to add it to your existing business, I recommend the Max Blaster because I've been totally happy with it. All right, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.